Well, this weekend you can honor the woman who helped make Barton Springs Pool more accessible for people of color. 60 years ago, Joan Means Cabela jumped in the pool and that sparked a movement. KXAN's Candy Rodriguez found out how the city is sharing the story of the activist's life. Good morning, Candy. Tom Zally, good morning. The East Austin native passed away last October, but her legacy lives on. Austin City Council approved a resolution proclaiming tomorrow as Joan Means Cabele Ceremony Day for a moment of silence and splash. That's because up until the early 60s, Barton Springs Pool remained segregated. Here's a snapshot of Barton Springs during that time, thanks to the Austin History Center. After being told she could not swim in the pool for her Austin High School senior picnic, Means Cabele took matters into her own hands. She was the first black person to jump into Barton Springs Pool in an act of protest against the pool segregation. This led to the start of weekly swim-ins during the summer of 1960, a movement that sparked the civil rights era swim-ins and eventually led to the desegregation of Barton Springs Pool. Local leader Austin NAACP President Nelson Lender believes her efforts were made possible thanks to her families and some of the community support. She had a support system allow her to do that and sustain that. So I think that's important to understand. It wasn't just, well, I'm going to do this. She had the network and the parents and experience to make this happen. We also chatted with a childhood friend who had this to say about Means Cabele. She was uh, devoted to her church and uh, was always involved in activities, had a moral compass and uh, I imagine that's how she became so civically oriented. Tomorrow's public event starts at 10 a.m. at Barton Springs Pool. There will be speakers, a water blessing ceremony, and a documentary about her efforts will be screened. Now, unfortunately, we could not find any photos of the swimmins. We did check in with the city. They believe the reason it may be hard to find those photos is because at the time, the swimmins were not widely covered in the news for fear that it would encourage more protest across the city and state. But Lender believes there are photos out there, and he plans to find them. Sally, back to you. I hope he does.